Hey, hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining me today. Justin Aquino here, public speaking and communication coach. I want to talk about three strategies that you can use to improve your technical communication abilities, especially when speaking to non-technical audiences. Very frequent challenge that I see with data scientists, BI analysts, financial experts, uh, many different technical fields, right? Because oftentimes we have to present or we have to speak to non-technical experts among senior executives, clients, internal stakeholders, other colleagues, and these people don't have the background in our field that we do. So we have to explain concepts in a way that will be relatable and accessible to them. So there's three things right off the bat that you can start doing. Number one, go back to your reading material, your learning material, when you were learning these concepts for the first time, when you were a newbie, or at the beginner or intermediate level and you're learning some intermediate to advanced concepts, what kinds of structure was the information presented in? How was it presented? What kinds of stories? What kinds of metaphors, anecdotes? What kinds of motifs did the textbook use? Did the professors use? Did the online courses use? Or video courses when they were explaining these concepts, okay? It gives you a very good framework. You know, once you get five, ten years into a field, it's easy to forget all that stuff because you've built on your expertise and your information so much, and there's been new developments and whatnot. But it's good to go back just to get a framework and a sense for the pedagogy, for how the education happened, how the information was delivered. Also, it's great for your empathy. It's great for humility because you remind yourself, hey, you know what? Once upon a time, I didn't know what any of this stuff was. I didn't know what discounted cash flow was. I didn't know anything about probability or statistics or machine learning. I didn't know how to write one line of code. So it puts you more into that humble, empathetic mode so you can remind yourself uh, and put yourself in the shoes of your target audience. Um, so that's really good just to get a framework and establish a basic template. Number two, second strategy you can use. Run your presentation in front of non-technical audiences. See what their reaction is. Specifically, there's three types of audiences right away that you can think of. One is your uh, colleagues in other functional areas of the business. People, again, that have no context and no background in your particular field. See if they can understand it. See if they can resonate with it and if it makes sense to them. That's uh, one group. Another group is children. You might laugh, but actually practicing your messaging and your delivery in front of children is very, very informative because children will be totally honest, brutally honest, in fact. Uh, and if they're not interested in what you're saying or they're not entertained or engaged, they're gone, right? Um, and also you have to simplify things and make it very accessible and relatable to them because they have not even zero knowledge. They have less than zero knowledge on your particular field. And then the third is um, non-native speakers of English, okay? So anybody that is, a, that is fluent in the English language but is not a technical expert in your particular field, it's gonna force you to speak in a, in a simpler and more accessible way so that they can understand uh, what you're saying. So that's strategy number two. And strategy number three is to experiment and test out new ideas and new concepts Continuous improvement is what I like to call this, okay? Continuous improvement, continuous development. Obviously, if you're in a very hot field, whether it's 5G, whether it's machine learning, whether it's Internet of Things, whatever, there's always new developments coming on board. So you got to keep your messaging and your communication style fresh. You never want to get stagnant. Always want to be testing out new ideas. So in networking conversations, over social media, when getting coffee with new uh, colleagues or new contacts, try out, slip in some new messaging, some new themes, some new keywords or key phrases and see what people's reaction is. Okay, it's very low stakes, right? So it's not an actual big presentation where you have to perform, but you can just try things out and experiment and see what people's reaction is. It's gonna be very, very informative for you to continuously improve your storytelling and communication abilities over time, okay? So three major strategies. Number one, go back to your learning materials, put yourself back uh, in, in those shoes as a student, uh, see how the presentation and the material was structured and delivered. Number two, practice your material in front of non-technical audiences, see if they can understand it. You know, ultimately, you're here for the audience, they have to be able to understand what you're saying. And then number three is um, continuously test and experiment with new ideas, new messaging, new stories, new anecdotes and see what people's reaction is over time as you continuously improve. So three major strategies to improve your technical communication abilities. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.